Hi guys and welcome to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter and today guys we just gonna craft up a t-shirt for me to wear to work tomorrow so i have my black little three dollar three dollars 95 cents from walmart i bought it tonight because i wanted to make a cute little black um t-shirt for myself and i laid it out it's brand new it's nice and smooth on my pad here that I have. And so I'm going to lay my t-shirt out on here. The next one I do, I'll show you guys how I print and did the vinyl. Because I had to do that first just to make sure that I knew what I was doing. And so now we're just going to add the letters and whatnot to our shirt. So that I can rock this shirt tomorrow at work. Okay, so as I said, I have my t-shirt here. Let me make sure that you guys can see everything. I have my t-shirt here, and we are going to um, put our card stock. Where, where did it go? We are going to put the card stock in between the t-shirt, inside the t-shirt, so that it does not um, melt anything through and it just gives it a nice surface. Well, I probably need to iron it out first. So we're gonna iron it out first and then make sure we are even as much as possible. Okay, so I have my heat press over here. And we are going to heat press our shirt. Knock the wrinkles out. And then we're going to lint roll any um, lint off of it. Now we're going to take our card stock and place that in between the shirt.
like so. Let me bring it up just a little bit more. Because I want you guys to see everything that I'm doing. So I had to adjust the camera. I'm hoping that that gives you a better angle. Yeah, you can, that's the bottom, that's the top. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of my pieces. My measuring tape, and we're gonna lay them out, get them prepared to be laid out on the shirt. And so, I want to come approximately three to four inches from the seam of the top. So, I'm gonna come down, and I want my letters to start approximately about right here okay so I'll just kind of nudge right there I can kind of see it a little bit and that is where we're gonna put our I'm just coming back just want to make sure You want that to go kind of like right there. Slide that back and press that down. Okay. From there, I want to put my in kind of like there. And then the change like that and that's going to be my little shirt I want to make sure everything is nice and straight and centered as much as possible I'm going to take some of the edges off this end get closer to the words without overlapping be the choice and make the choice and be the change all right and then I'm gonna cut some of this off that looks good so that is my shirt for tomorrow y'all know my logos for me my theme for this year is choice and change some paper and butcher paper because that's not gonna be enough to um press that all the way out hold tight guys Okay, we back. So now I got enough to where we gonna be fine. Okay, so now I'm not sure. I'm 
flip it over on the dry side just to be safe. Okay. And we want to make sure everything is aligned and One more time, just to make sure. And this is just a, a generic easy press that I spent under a hundred dollars for. I will leave the description box below. Less than a hundred, guys. Less than a hundred bucks. cradle and let it cool save these papers because I cannot find my other ones and it looks good it looks good yes I'm just letting it cool down. So give it a minute. Okay, we are back. I made some stars because it just looked real plain to add to the shirt. So I'm going to add a couple little, you know, just a couple little stars here and there. To the shirt to give it just a little bit more color and depth and yeah so it's just not super plain so that is just not super plain I think that's cute it ain't too much okay and then I could save these or is these two the same size? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, to throw one more in there would, would throw it off. I think that's, that's cute like that. So we're going to save these for another time. And so what I'm going to do is, and I found my butcher paper. Yay! So we're going to press one more time over everything. stars that's why I didn't go to the next step because I really wanted just everything to to gel Okay. 
come up here and get that one. Uh oh. And uh, uh oh. Didn't mean to do that either. It's just a light touch, so it will definitely turn the machine off. So we're going to do this a few times just to make sure that everything gets heated and pressed. And then that's going to be going to peel it and hopefully the shirt will be done. your paper over here and we're going to do it one more time Oh, I'm loving my shirt. I'm going to put some on the back now. <laughs> and I just might. This is so cute. I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit. Because it's super hot. So while it's cooling... Y'all hold tight. All right, so we are done. It is cooled down. And so we're gonna go ahead and peel off the, the very first one that we did. And let's see what we have. And yeah, it's, it looks like it's stuck pretty, pretty good. And so there's another layer that is on these. So you have to be very careful when pulling them up so that you can get this second. It's like another layer of um, tape that has to come off. But for the most part, that was pretty simple. And it's cute as heck. Oh, I'm going to be so cute with my shirt on tomorrow. I'm going to be so cute. Oh, I'm going to be so cute. 
so cute with my shirt on tomorrow girls and boys yes super cute i am loving this i am loving this oh my goodness Ugh. Mm. And so you peel, peel this part off. And I'm gonna take my time. Okay. This one's. Okay, guys, we lost a little footage because I ran out of time. So, I mean, out of space to record. So, you peel off that backing that you saw me do. And then there's another layer that you have to be very careful and you have to peel this off. This is the most tedious part of this is peeling off this second layer. But when I tell you, when you peel it off, your project just looks so much better than it do with the with just leaving it with the film. I know a lot of people, from what I have been taught or told, a lot of people um, had no idea that this film comes off and it separate. It makes it where it looks like it's rhinestones instead of. Um, but it's real tedious. Like some, you might have to go back in and reheat um, because yeah. But once it comes off and see like now it's giving me a hard time. And so I'm gonna have to go back in and reheat it up again. That's the only thing about it is that yeah, you gonna, you gotta really be careful cause otherwise it'll tear. Uh, the stuff off and you just kind of peel peel it off a little bit it'll separate eventually just take your time and you you'll you'll feel it it's very tedious and hard to do but see as you do it it appeal right off but you have to still be careful because it might take some of the little mosaics off with it and that just tell you that you need to maybe reheat it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep heating it until it do what we want it to do so we'll come back in one moment as you can see the shirt made it to work and it is beautiful got so many compliments like share and subscribe see you on the next one